All right. So if, if you've watched me over time, you know that I'm a huge fan of Apex and SQL Workshop. Um, and one of the new features that came into SQL Workshop in 23.2 is the ability to connect out to SQL Web, Developer Web. Now you may be asking yourself, why would I use Developer Web? What does it give you? Well, in this video, we're going to take a look at some of the things that I like about SQL Developer Web that complement um, Oracle, Apex, and SQL Workshop. So to start with, the number one thing I like is the ability to interact very easily with files um, that exist on your file system. So my working style is to essentially save everything in a file, right? And then I push up to my private Git repo or to the correct Git repo on a project. Um, in SQL Workshop, that's not as easy. You have, obviously you have save SQL commands um, and you've got scripts and stuff, but um, it's not as clean. I find this to be a little cleaner. So you can go out there, I can grab a, a query or I can uh, simply adds to it and hit save and it saves back to my local. So um, the second thing that I like, and this is a query on a JSON uh, collection, um, I'll go ahead and run it, um, is you know the ability to kind of drill into the data once it's re returned. So you can see here uh, returning you know a handful of rows from the table. If I pop this out, uh, when you have uh, queries that span multiple columns, What's nice about SQL Web is you can actually right click and drill into a single record view. It gives you a vertical representation. You can move to the next record as you need to, but you can kind of really see um, make exactly the columns in a, in a different view. So not end all be all, but kind of nice. All right. The next one is something I really enjoy. So this is a query. Let me just go out here and show you what, what this query looks like when I run it in SQL commands. So um, it runs in this particular query. We're looking at XML and transforming XML into JSON. All right, so here we can see the result. So it looks cool. Uh, and if I go on the explain plan here, you know, it does the explain plan. It shows me the data, but it's very detail oriented. Uh, if we come back here, and uh, what I can actually do is see the same information. I can run the explain plan on a, on a query, uh, but get a much more visual representation, which I find extremely useful. And I can drill into this visual representation to really see exactly what is happening when uh, and take a look at uh, my, my queries. Uh, similarly, I can also save this visual representation to SVG, which is kind of nice. All right, so next on the list is really SOTA query support. Uh, so today, if we grab a SOTA query and we go out into SQL Workshop, right, and we try to run this query, it'll fail, right? Um, SQL Workshop doesn't have SOTA query support. Uh, it does have pretty pretty nice uh, support for um, J collections, right, in the data model, SOTA collections. Um, but if you actually want to use uh, SOTA queries, uh, I would recommend considering using SQL Web Developer because you can go here and you can execute, uh, see all your collections. You can see um, the number of items in a collection. And you can even query uh, uh, more advanced if you need to. Uh, in this case, we're looking for the jersey number of, of the player 97. And you can get the results. So if that's your query language of choice, um, hey, you can have at it. The last thing on the list that I like, um, and this was something that used to be in the object browser, but it looks like it was removed. I'm not exactly sure when it was removed was the, the data model component, uh, but no worries. You can actually go out in web. There is a data modeler here. And you can just simply grab the tables that you want and drop them on the, the page. Um, you can drill in over here. You can see um, a, a visual view of the keys, um, what's going on. Um, it's pretty nice. You can add comments up here at the top. Um, you can save this to an SVG. You can save your diagram. We'll go ahead and save it. And then once the diagram is saved, uh, perhaps uh, the thing that I like the most is you can do a diagram report, right? So you can click OK. And it'll come back with the full report um, of the table. Now, this is only two tables, so it's not complex, but it does show things like, you know, our, our uh, table calculations on the columns, the connections, the keys, the comments, that sort of thing. All right, so those are a few things that I like about the new 
SQL Developer Web Direct Connection uh, from Oracle Apex SQL Workshop.